What's going on guys, it's the African guy here to bring you a how-to video on how to clear some space from any drive in your computer. I have a couple different methods on how to do this, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So first off, this is just kind of a spur of the moment video. I figured out a way to clear a lot of space from some of my drives. So I thought I'd put a video out there to see if I can help anyone else out. So if I'm all over the place, it's because again, this is just a spur of the moment video. But anyway, let's go ahead and go. So you're gonna click on the start menu and you're going to type in disk cleanup for method one. Disk cleanup is an app that was integrated into Windows 10. I'm not sure if it was an eight or seven, but what disk cleanup does is it'll go into all your files on whatever drive that you want. You're gonna to have to specify which drive you want to clean. My C drive is my SSD. My other one's my two terabyte hard drive. I always wanna clear out my SSD because it seems to fill up the fastest because that's what my operating system is on. Anyway, I'm going to click on that. It's going to calculate basically any dump files, junk files, or cache data that I can get rid of. And I just did mine a couple days ago, so it's not going to pull too much. It pulled 749 megabytes, and that can build up pretty fast if you don't do it for a while. One time I had it pull about 5.1 gigabytes out of here when I didn't do it for a couple weeks. So that can be a pretty significant amount if like, you want to download a game or something like that onto one of your drives. So you're going to hit OK, and it's going to ask you if you want to delete these files. You're going to hit Yes. And then it's going to delete all those files for you. And along with that, it had a thing to check mark your recycling bin. I forgot to right there. But always make sure to empty your recycling bin. I do a lot of video editing, and sometimes I delete those videos, and I leave them in here. And that can build up really fast to up in the hundreds of gigabytes. So that was method one. Method two is to download this app right here called CC Cleaner. It works very similarly to the disk cleanup app that's integrated into Windows 10, except it's going to run through all of your web browsers and any applications that you want to. And you're gonna hit Run Cleaner, and it's going to basically pull again any catch data, junk files, anything it can. So log files, thumbnail catch, anything from your file explorer that it can get rid of. I've had this CC cleaner before pull up to, I think, 20 gigabytes of data that I could get rid of, and that is a significant amount, as you know. So this one can help a lot. It just removes it all after, of course, you authorize that it can do that. The third method is probably the one that will clear the most out of anything out of all these methods. How you do it is you're going to want to go to your control panel. You're going to type in file and you want to go to file explorer options. In your file explorer options dialog box, you're going to hit view. And mine's already clicked because I did this a couple days ago and if I forgot to unclick it, you're going to hit don't show or it's going to be on don't show hidden files. You're going to click show hidden files, folders, and drives. You're going to hit OK. And now, whenever you go to your storage, because this always confused me, I'd go to my storage. And this is a really cool thing that Windows 10 does. It lets you know like where everything is coming from. I go here and sometimes my apps and games would be full up to like 50. And then I click on it. And obviously if you sort it by size, this these would not add up to 50. So I'd 50 gigs. So I'd be like, where is all this coming from? But once you show those hidden files and then you go to the drive that you're looking for and you go into where you installed those games and stuff, is going to have a lot of app roaming data and a bunch of stuff that you could not see before. It's going to basically expose all those files and you're going to be able to delete them now. The easiest way to do this is to go to your search bar up here and you're going to type in size in a colon and it's going to have all these different specifications of things that you can click. I always click gigantic and then it's going to pull up all the files that are above the specified 128 megabytes. So like I said, I do a lot of video editing here on Adobe. There would be tons and tons and tons of app roaming data from Adobe Premiere on here, probably 50 gigs or so. My SSD would be full up to 100 out of the 111 gigs allowed, and I just wouldn't understand why. I went through here one day, and it cleared it all the way back down to, like you saw, 43 or something gigs. It was insane. So what I did, I just clicked on one, I used my arrow keys and scrolled down and hit delete. 
So scroll, delete, scroll, delete, scroll, delete. And after I did all that, it got my SSD down to 43 gigs again. And it's just kind of like a big weight off your shoulders because you're worried that your SSD or your hard drive is going to fill up and what are you going to do about it? But once you have this thing, you can also go to huge and it'll pull up a bunch more. Go to large, it'll pull up more. I usually don't go anywhere below medium because then at that point, this gets tedious. If you're looking for files that are 10 kilobytes, it's just crazy. But yeah, those are my three methods on how to clear a lot of space from your hard drive or SSD, your drives on your computer. If you, have any, if you know of any other methods, let me know. I'm really interested in looking into that stuff. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment down below. I get back to comments as fast as I can. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching this video. Please like, please subscribe, and until next time, y'all already know.